A big effort is about to begin away from West Franklin Street, too, as hundreds of cars try to find a place to park next week. Eyewitness News' Stuart Hammer found out how people do it. He's live on the, east side, oh, the west side tonight. Stuart. Well, Shelley, these side streets and yards are going to look a lot different here in the next couple of days because people will be packing in cars. You know, it could be a bit of a headache, but it is just another day at the Fall Festival. I don't consider it work. I consider it fun. This is Paul Melton's noisy calm before an even noisier storm. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just... Well, if you've been down here, you know it's kind of indescribable. He's working to get his grass in tip-top shape before slamming 18 cars into his West Virginia Street yard. He and his wife moved here 12 years ago to get as close as they could to the fall festival. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have a ball with it. We park a lot of cars out here. It's going to be nuts. Crazy. Madhouse. Hundreds of cars will cram in and make neighbors thousands of dollars. Pretty fun down there. And it's a little hectic parking cars, but it's all in fun. But not every home can afford the extra tread. Nope. Only got a little driveway back there. There's just so many people and people just driving and driving, looking for parking places. Traffic all the time. Busy. People always walking up and down the sidewalk. It's the most wonderful time of the year. We park like seven or eight down that side and a couple down this side and one here and Three in the driveway and one Because around three West Franklin Street, lug nuts will drive off to make room for, well, just nuts. We fill them up as fast as we empty them. Though parking it's nuts. is a tough one to crack. <laughs> and traffic will be shut down here on West Franklin Street over the weekend. And, of course, all the parking on the side streets is first come, first serve. Live on the west side, Stuart Hammer, Eyewitness News.